Welcome back to How to Wiz IQ Basic Training. This is 202-202, scheduling a private class, but a little bit more advanced. Okay, so we go to Teach, Schedule a Class, same way as before. Once again, we're going to give it a title. Uh, tutorial, Private Advanced. Okay, now now we're going to schedule a specific date and time okay so if we click twice in the box we can pick a day on the calendar and let's just pick Wednesday we set the time let's say 6.30 a.m. alright so that's a little bit more advanced but now um, if you have a free account you probably don't have this ability but you will later if you want if you get into that but now we can select when the class repeats so first thing we do is look at the drop down and <clears throat> we do it seven days a week six days five days a week or we can pick specific days oops <laughs> Okay, weekly. So every week I want this schedule to repeat. And now it lets me choose which days every week it repeats. I can do it Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, or I can just do one day a week. And then I have to choose when it's going to end. After four Fridays, I could put in four here, or I could pick a date. So maybe I do monthly class schedules. I click in here twice. And it says it's going to end in the end of January of 2012. So that lets all the Fridays of 2012 after this first date <coughs> repeat. Once again, we can put in keywords. We can put in um, class description. And um, here, I'm not going to do it now maybe later you can actually put in HTML code you can it would put in pictures and things like that um, and fancy font types it looks simple but you can actually get pretty fancy there my experience is that most people do not read the class description so don't do a lot of work here but um, anyway <clears throat> I think that's about it for what we want to look at so let's go ahead and schedule it And now let's look a little bit deeper at the things we can change. Uh, we already looked at invite attendees. That would be the same. But let's look at attendance and permissions. Now if we invite people, there will be a list of people that are here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that in a later one because I don't have that information available for you to look at. We can edit the class information, the title, the keywords, the information about the class, say we published it, we said, oh my goodness, I spelled things wrong. You could come back and change that. Um, <coughs> recording and class settings, you can see where we can change the time. We didn't do that last time. We're going to do that in the next tutorial. We can show attendees on the class page so that other people can see who's coming. Some classes you would prefer to keep private and not have everybody see who's coming if you're doing a class about people's problems. <laughs> um, you can set it up, change all of these settings in the, um, in the on the class page after you got it set up. Here's where you can look at any comments that people have made. You can also, after the class, you can look at the feedback they left. And as we said before, we can change the class time and this will automatically send a message to everyone who has been invited. And finally, we can cancel the class. And you would want to give a message as to why you needed to cancel it. So that that finishes the little bit more advanced features of conducting a or setting up a private class.